Thank you, um, Karen Corla, and uh, thank you, Minister. <coughs> um, Minister, I, I thank you for the opportunity to highlight the need for a primary care centre in Tullow. Uh, just to explain, we have three that have been applied for now, and we have had kind of no update on any of them since. Um, but the first one is a primary care centre in Tullow, an injury clinic in Carlow, and also a primary care centre in Burris. <coughs> Given the growth of Carlow's population, the ageing population, and the need for an injury clinic and primary care centres to alleviate pressure on the nearest hospital in the neighbouring county. Carlow is one of the fastest growing counties in Leinster, according to the CSO. Carlow Town now has more people living in it than Kilkenny City, and yet we have no hospital. We have extensive pressure on our out-of-hours service and just limited use of a perfectly good X-ray facility in St. Timothy's Hospital. We need an injury clinic in Carlow, making use of the good facilities already there and allowing the expansion of the service. The, the poorly, um, the, sorry, thank you very much. <laughs> I have a bit of a bug on me, sorry now. Yeah, you're grand. Um, and allowing the expansion of the service to properly serve the people of Carlow, giving our growing population and the demand on this service. The population of Carlow has had the biggest growth at 9%, with over 5,336 new people since 2016, bringing the county total of 61,968. The CSO figures have Carlow's town population at 27,351, and Minister, would you believe this, Kilkenny City at 27,184. So Carlow town's population figures includes the area of Great Cullen, but we are bigger now, our town, than Kilkenny Town Centre. And that's a bit of information for you. <laughs> we'll have to call it that, Count Carla. <laughs> If there was a minor injury clinic in every town, it would take the pressure off all the A&E departments and the pressure off people waiting hours just to get an X-ray. The X-ray department in Carlow, we have a fabulous um, X-ray department in Carlow, but it's only open part-time and it's based in St. Dimitris Hospital, but it's an absolutely excellent facility. But Minister, I'm looking for this to be opened five days a week as well because of the pressure again on the A&E in Kilkenny and I really want to compliment the staff in Kilkenny, they do a great job. I also need to state how important it is to have the primary care centres in our county towns. In April 2016 I was told the HSE proposed to deliver a primary care centre for Tullow, Rathfilly and Hackettstown area using their own direct build mechanism. The HSC there said their capital plan would fund the centre. The HSC have told me that Tullow was only identified last year and then I was told it was to begin in quarter four. I was told it was imminent, but it's still not there. This is an urgent centre promised for a long time and I have no date for the delivery of it all. I was promised a meeting about this uh, to get an update on this provision, but I still haven't heard words. When I speak about data and census figures, the county town of Burris has the oldest population in Carlow with an average age of 44.9 years. They also, Minister, need a primary care centre because of all the towns in Carlow. This is the most rural and spans several small townlands, which I will say, and have to say this, is a gorgeous part of the county, but it's, it is seriously um, underserved. Again, I have to highlight Carlow and, the, and our beautiful scenery. Carlow urgently needs these projects because of the explosion in population and I look forward to working with you to achieve this. We have huge issues in Carlow waiting for things. We have Tullow and Burris Thank Primary you, Care Centre and we also need an injury clinic for Carlow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms Butler. Uh, thank you very much, Deputy, uh, for raising um, the issue. Uh, the question that you submitted was to discuss the provision of an injury clinic in Carlow, so I don't have the details in relation to the primary care centres um, in, in Tullow and the other areas that you mentioned. Um, it was interesting, actually, when, when I read your question uh, there a while ago, when I, before preparing to come down to discuss the 
provision of an injury clinic in Carlow. Um, I'm also discussing the, discussing the provision of an injury car, um, clinic um, in Dungarvan County, Waterford. Um, so I suppose you look, we're, we're, all, we're all trying to facilitate things in our own areas. Um, I want to thank you for, for, for your constant advocacy for improved health services. The National Emergency Medicine Programme model of care recognises the need to support the development of injury units. These units provide care locally in cases where injuries are unlikely to require a hospital admission. So I'm pleased to say that we have 15 local injury units are open around the country, each one providing an important service to their local communities. And you are quite right, they take a huge pressure off the emergency departments. These units also play an important role in reducing the waiting times for patients in emergency departments throughout the country. The service provided at injury units are held in high esteem by patients. This is evident by the large and growing demand for the services. Approximately 140,000 plus patients attended injury units in 2022, an increase of over 30% since 2019. This represents approximately 7% of all urgent and emergency activity in Ireland. I can advise the Deputy that the HSE has carried out a review of injury units. The review aimed to identify areas of best practice that could be rolled out across the country. The scope of this review included the review of 13 injury units nationally, as well as areas having the most potential need for additional injury units. The review considered the activity, the operations and governance of these units. The HSE have advised the review makes a number of recommendations, both to improve existing services at local injury units, as well as outlining options for future developments. These recommendations are broadly based on two themes. The need to standardise existing services and to identify options for future development of local injury units in the medium to long term. Deputy, all recommendations will of course be subject to resource and other considerations, including its alignment with the urgent and emergency care plan being developed by the HSE. I am advised that these recommendations are currently under review by the HSE and it is expected that they will, this will inform the development of an implementation plan. I have to say I did um, visit the injury clinic um, in Bantry General Hospital about, about 12 months ago and I was actually so impressed by the facility where you know, it means that people living in that part of the, of the country in, in West Cork didn't have to go to the emergency department in Cork City of some of the, the many hospitals, CUH and Mercy and others and it does make a huge difference for people. Um, certainly I will make inquiries as to when um, we will see the results of the review because I do think we have 15 local injury units, they're very successful, they work very well and the more of them we could run out across the country I think it would take huge pressure off our emergency departments. Thank you Minister and I Thank you, Carla. And Minister, I really want to welcome this. Um, that is really important. I welcome the review. No offence now, but I'll be fighting twice as hard for Carlo now. <laughs> I know you mentioned Waterford there. Um, but look, at, I always feel, and I know, Carla, in fairness, you always say to me, Carlo, Carlo, Carlo. But as a passionate and a lady that is honoured to work for the people of Carlo Kilkenny, I firmly believe that an injury clinic um, is so important for us. But also, we do need um, the clinics also in Tullow and Hackistan, Rathilly, and also Burris, because I feel with our population growth that we need to have these services for people. And you know, Minister, it is going to be a huge help on the Kilkenny Hospital, who do a great service. But again, they are packed to capacity at all times, and you know, they can only do their best. So I would say that I'll be fighting hard for this injury clinic. I welcome the review. And I also want to welcome you, Minister, for your, um, your ongoing work and, and to um, the urgent attention to the health service on the CHO5. It's the first time we're ever going to have a dedicated national youth mental health officer within the HSE. That is another huge, I think, achievement by you and your commitment uh, to deliver under mental health. So again, Minister, I'm looking for this injury clinic. I had Minister Donnelly down two or three times. I will have him down more, um, but these issues for me, I firmly believe Carlo needs an injury clinic. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, and I am delighted, Kieran Corley, to put on the record of the doll for the first time ever in the history of the state. Um, we now have um, 
a national office for youth mental health within the HSE. Yeah. We never had that previously. Dr. Donan Kelly took up the post Monday of this week and we also have the clinical lead in Dr. Amanda Burke. And what I'm hoping that it will pull all the strands of the services we have together to try and make things more effective. So thank you for that. Deputy, in relation to the primary care centres, and I know you mentioned um, Hackerstown, Ratfilly, uh, Tullow and Burris, there is a, a programme in place at the moment. We have seen primary care centres rolled out across the country over the last 10 years. Um, you know, and what I will do is I'll, I, I'll check to see the status of uh, some of those. Obviously, it depends on population. It depends on the demand in the particular area. And it also depends um, on, 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 on budget. But we know that primary care centres um, are very, very important in communities. And I will check that out, uh, out for you. And I'll revert you in due course. Thank you very much.